When the Sundance Institute announced the list of short films for this year's festival in Utah, many noticed a familiar name in the credits, Malia Ann. This turned out to be Malia Obama, the eldest daughter of former President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, who directed the short film Asterisk the Heart Asterisk. The reveal came through a Meet the Artist video shared by Sundance. Since its debut on January 18th, social media has buzzed with discussions, some critics attributing her opportunities in Hollywood, such as writing for Donald Glover to her parents' influence. This conversation extended to Asterisk the View Asterisk, where host Whoopi Goldberg defended Malia's choice of using a stage name, emphasizing her right to self-identify in any way she chooses. Goldberg asserted, If I can be Whoopi Goldberg, she can be whoever the hell she wants to be. According to E, Malia will continue using the name Malia Ann professionally for the foreseeable future. Malia Obama doesn't appear to be hiding her identity, but rather establishing some independence from her famous parents. The Sundance webpage prominently features her recognizable face and a Meet the Artist video she narrates. In the video, she describes her short film, Asterisk, The Heart Asterisk, as a story about a lonely man grieving the death of his mother after she leaves him an unusual request in her will. Asterisk, The Heart Asterisk has received mixed reviews. However, it's challenging to discern which critiques are genuine and which are politically motivated. For instance, one blunt letterbox reviewer accused her of honoring her father's legacy by dropping a giant bomb and not receiving any criticism for it. This type of attention is likely what Malia hoped to avoid, making her decision to use a stage name understandable. Choosing a stage name could help Malia navigate her career on her own terms, allowing her work to be judged more fairly and independently of her parents' influence. Despite her efforts, the attention she receives often circles back to her lineage, but her dedication to her craft is evident in her projects and public appearances. For now, it seems she will continue to use the name Malia Ann in her professional endeavors. Years after Barack Obama left office, many people still wonder if Sasha and Malia Obama continue to enjoy Secret Service protection. This national agency is dedicated to providing safety to presidents and their families. Barack Obama, like many former American presidents, remains a globally recognized figure. His fame and magnetism can overwhelm even those accustomed to being around celebrities. Consequently, ensuring the safety of his family has always been a priority. The Secret Service typically extends its protection to presidential children for a set period post-presidency, offering security as they transition into private life. Sasha and Malia, having grown up in the public eye, have had to navigate this unique position with grace. Despite the added pressure, they have pursued their education and careers with determination. Secret Service protection helps them maintain a sense of normalcy while managing the potential risks associated with their high-profile status. Sasha is attending the University of Michigan, while Malia has been involved in various creative projects, including working in the film industry. Their father's legacy and their mother's influential role as a former first lady continue to attract public and media interest. The Secret Service's ongoing protection allows them to focus on their personal and professional growth, ensuring they remain safe and secure in an ever-watchful world. The Obama family, much like Barack Obama himself, enjoys significant public admiration. For instance, Malia Obama has worked on Donald Glover and Billie Eilish's show Swarm, while Michelle Obama frequently receives requests to appear on high-profile shows. However, the family also faces criticism and hostility from some quarters, prompting questions about whether they still receive Secret Service protection. The Secret Service, one of the nation's first law enforcement agencies, was initially established to combat counterfeiting. Over time, its role has expanded significantly, now encompassing the protection of U.S. presidents and their families. Given the president's constant need for security, it became logical for the vice president and their families to receive similar protection. The Secret Service's protective duties extend beyond the presidency, often covering former presidents and their families for a designated period after their tenure in office. This extended protection is crucial, as it allows former presidents and their families to transition Obama, into private life due to his global while prominence and continued and influence, remains a high-profile figure. His daughters, Sasha and Malia, have also garnered public and media attention. Sasha is pursuing her education at the University of Michigan, while Malia has delved into the creative industry, taking on projects like working on Swarm. Michelle Obama's influential role as a former first lady continues to attract significant public interest.
The ongoing protection provided by the Secret Service helps the Obama family navigate their public and private lives with a semblance of normalcy. Despite their high-profile status, this security measure ensures their safety amid the potential risks they face. This protection is not just a precaution, but a necessary measure, given the constant public and media scrutiny they endure. In essence, while the Obama family has moved forward with their lives and careers, the Secret Service's protection remains a vital component of their safety, allowing them to focus on their personal and professional endeavors without compromising their security. The Secret Service is responsible for protecting the president, vice president, and their families, including the spouse and children. This protection extends to visiting foreign dignitaries and distinguished foreign visitors to the United States, as well as U.S. officials on special missions abroad. Presidential and vice presidential candidates also receive Secret Service protection, typically within 120 days of the election. Regarding Sasha and Malia Obama, as daughters of former President Barack Obama, they were under Secret Service protection during his presidency and continue to receive it for a designated period post-presidency. However, the extent and duration of their protection may vary based on current policies and threat assessments. The Secret Service, established to combat counterfeiting, has expanded its role significantly since its inception, now safeguarding a broad range of high-profile individuals. This expansion reflects the evolving security needs and the agency's commitment to ensuring the safety of those at the highest levels of government and their families. Despite leaving the White House, the Obama family, like other former First Families, continues to be a focal point for the Secret Service due to their enduring public presence and the potential threats they may face. The Secret Service regulations for former presidents differ significantly from those for former vice presidents, with former first spouses also receiving more protection. In 1965, Congress passed a law granting lifetime Secret Service protection to former presidents and their spouses at taxpayer expense. However, this protection can be declined by the former presidents themselves, and it ceases for first spouses upon remarriage. Children of former presidents receive protection until they turn 16. Once the parent is no longer in office, adult children do not continue to receive Secret Service protection. This was evident when President Donald Trump left office, and his adult children lost their protection after six months. Similarly, Sasha and Malia R. Obama, now in their 20s, are no longer under Secret Service protection. The protection provided by the Secret Service has evolved from its original mandate to combat counterfeiting to encompass a wide array of high-profile individuals. This reflects the changing security landscape and the ongoing need to protect those who have served at the highest levels of government. Despite these changes, the Secret Service remains committed to ensuring the safety of former presidents and their families, adapting its practices to meet contemporary security challenges. Malia Obama has demonstrated a strong interest in the film and television industry. After graduating from Harvard University in 2021, she embarked on a career in Hollywood, working on various high-profile projects. One of her notable roles includes writing for the Amazon series Swarm, created by Donald Glover and Janine Neighbors. This show, a thriller revolving around an obsessed fan, showcases Malia's storytelling skills. Malia has expressed a desire to carve out her own path in the industry, focusing on storytelling and production. Her experience includes internships and production assistant roles at prominent entertainment companies, such as HBO and The Weinstein Company. These positions have allowed her to gain firsthand experience and industry insights. Overall, Malia Obama's career goals appear to be centered on establishing herself as a writer and producer in the entertainment world, leveraging her education and industry connections while striving to create compelling and impactful content.